Alright uh, guys, welcome. Podcast 8. And I'm watching my first ever piece of music that I released the other day, guys. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it now. It's just unbelievable. Um, yeah, you may not like it, I don't know. You, I don't know. You're probably just going to respect the fact that I didn't care and I just went there. Those of you who've been on this channel a while, you'll know what I mean. But yeah, maybe I'll just pause that to get on with the podcast. Yeah. No, I just paused that. Um, so yeah, DJ Louise Twenty One, the uh, Summer Street Beats Mix, Volume One. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird time. But yeah, let's get on with this podcast. Right. I will give you time. Feelings start to pressure you It's alright I will give you time This is episode 8 And I got a new light, yay! So you can see my face clearly Doesn't look like I've got a black eye Unless I turn like this But there you go See, my nose is so big it creates a shadow Over that light But yeah, it's been a while guys I've missed you guys In a podcast sense I mean, I've been busy with the vlogs but still not enough. I look at it. I look I look at these videos I've got, you know, how many I've done this month is not enough. I just want more. <laughs> Crave more. I don't know. Do you ever get in that state of mind where you, you... To other people, it's obviously working hard. And you are working hard, but your brain is just like, no. No, you're not. Now, I did a podcast... A video I'm getting mixed up all the time. I did a video all about horoscopes and stuff, and yeah, like I say in the video, don't read into it too much, it might not be accurate at all, but reading mine is just like, wow, I mean, I've read this sort of thing before, um, but it makes you think, really, like, am I really like that? You know, your strengths are your weaknesses, and your weaknesses are your strengths, in some ways, like, the one the one thing I take from my horoscope is that I'm just really p particular and fussy about things. Like, try, trying to look for perfection, even when it's not there. Um, that's a good thing. That is a good thing, in, to some extent. But, when you don't... It says, when, when I don't find that, I go a bit mad. Um, yeah, I don't read into that too much. Or, or the, the, the detail of it, but, like, in general, yeah. I'm always looking for something better. Something more, even with my content. Sometimes I'm not happy with it. But, having said that... I did make a video in the past um, that, you know, always finish what you start. Because if you do something half ass, you start it and you don't finish it, you might regret it. Might be the best thing you've ever done, but if you don't finish it, nobody will ever see it. So you've got, you know, so sometimes it's, you know, quantity over, quant over quality. When it comes to YouTube, I think. And even when it comes to me making music in the future here, the more I make, the better I'll get at it. If I make one song and it's average, and I go, okay, I'm not good at this, let's not make any more music, then what's the point? If I make, like, if I carry on doing this all year, then by the end of the year, I might have a good song. Yeah, this is good for a start. I'm proud of this, to be honest. So let's see how the views do. Um, we're going to find out soon enough. <laughs> But yeah, guys, let's take a second just to look at my channel. Um, yeah, so I got new art for the background here, as you can see. That is what's meant to be a peacock. These are the feathers, looks like eyes. It actually made a really good um, background, I'm proud of that. And then that was on Monday. That was a great day, by the way. I went to Watford Shopping Centre, and they've got this new wall art. They've got a whole new part with a Hollywood Bowl and a Super Dry and a Hugo Boss, loads of shops. Debenhams, yeah, that might, may sound boring, but, um, you know, shopping's always good. It's not just, you know, people have that, that stereotype that just girls and women like shopping, and it's not true. Like, I, I'm going to browse Hugo Boss, and I mean, I was in Debenhams, I stopped, me and my dad got stuck in the, uh, the bit with all the aftershaves, the aftershave bit, just the best part, you know, normally you end up choking on aftershave in there, <laughs> Like that famous Mr. Bean sketch. But anyway, that's the story behind this this uh, background I got here. And this picture here, 
this is from a famous vlog that I actually deleted, which I'm probably going to re-up, I have to re-upload, but it got so much copyright strike, like, three or four different songs got copyrighted, it was a video I made, a reaction video all about Billie Eilish, uh, this young upcoming legend in music that, at the time she was only 16, and just a, a newfound favourite of mine, basically, and this picture is from that vlog, I made it literally during that vlog, I did it as a freeze frame, um, and it was just reminding people to subscribe, it was quite a nice photo, like, my pose here, just like, random, it was like, during, like, while I was speaking, so I did a freeze frame, and that, there we go, and that's now my profile pic here, I changed it recently, I just thought, why not, and then you go down, wait, hold on, 77 subscribers, guys, I got a new subscriber, who are you? I don't know who you are, but welcome. Thank you for joining me. We're moving up, guys. But yeah, let's look here. These are some of my videos. Okay, so... Yeah, as you can see, I've been making more vlogs. There's two there, you know. On one page. Let's move across, we'll see more. And... Hold on. But yeah, trying to get up those views. I mean, I've had 15 in the video in the past and been happy with that, you know, but you scroll down in the popular ones and then you just realise they're popping, they're really popping, those videos down there, um, can also do probably have for life, that was a famous video, that's one year ago, that was 2017 in Italy, that was done on my phone, by the way, look how many views, because I mentioned my dad's hometown, look how many views, then Eric Clapton, that got copyright striked as well, Tom of Dortmund, that was a popular video, but I feel like that was just a clickbait kind of thing. Like, you see anything with a football team in it, people are going to search and then find it. Then they probably tuned in and they were like, what is this rubbish? Well, or they watched it, I don't know. Don't know the longevity of the views there, I don't know. But yeah, shame, but my channel is still actually blocked. Like, I can't monetize. Not that I've got enough of anything to monetize at the moment. But I'm proud of what I'm doing here. Like, people ask me, you got a job? No, I'm not getting a job. This is my job. I mean, it does cross my mind, I'll be honest. I think about it. I think, like, should I get a real job? But nah. This is a real job in its own way. It's, it's not, well, it's fun. So it's not a real, some real jobs are actually boring, you know. And people think work is, like, a tedious thing, you know. It's not, it shouldn't be. It doesn't have to be. And this proves that, I think. Not that I'm making any money off it. Yeah, you need money to live. But in my situation, I kind of the government kind of gives me money. So, some. Nowhere near enough. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying you can not go to school and then just start a YouTube career. YouTube channel. I, I wouldn't recommend that either. I still went to school. I went to uni. Done all that, you know. People dropping out to do this. It's literally make or break and as PewDiePie famously did I think dropped out of college or uni or something to pursue this career and look where he is now yeah um, I'm not gonna make a career of playing video games and being scared but look where he's come now all this way he's beating T-series still but yeah recently I watched the um, the Logan Paul not Logan Paul yeah I watched one of his actually yeah before I Talk about Joe Rogan, I want to talk about Logan Paul. So yeah, Logan Paul. Logan Paul did a big no-no. He offended the entire LGBTQ... Wait. LGBTQ community. Yeah, I got it right. He offended them in a comment he made about... He said, in his words something about going gay for a month, and people got really offended because, yeah, basically, like, he, he can't say that, like, can't just suddenly, you know, he can say, and then the other guy on this show, who represents LGBT, what is it, LGBTQ, he represents a guy who done, done a lot of campaigning for them, um, was saying, like, you can't say, that, like, if it was a joke, it was a joke in poor taste, and it offended a lot of people, but um, 
of course, context. There's always context, isn't there? And Logan was trying to defend himself. He was like, I'm an advocate of LGBTQ as well. LGBTQ as well. If I can ever say that word right. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, there's genuine mistakes. Exactly. Like, I'm saying that I'm um, getting one of the letters wrong, but and I'm not meaning to do that. That's just an accident. But what he was saying was like, uh, if I'm honest, I, I, I don't know. I think the the guy was maybe taking it too far, the the other guy, in terms of being offended. But um, if it was a joke, it was a joke in poor taste. And he, he did apologise, which is the main thing. And then he was trying to justify by saying that Joe Rogan mentioned something similar on his podcast. And then the guy was like, I can't believe you would do that. Why would you try and divert to someone else? And then, of course, the conversation went in the direction of Logan Paul having the, this huge target on his back. The guy everyone loves to hate, of course. But anyway, he just offended some people with that. Uh, not going to go into too much detail because, why? Well, it's just another silly thing he's done that is magnified because he's Logan Paul. Logan Paul, the guy everyone loves to hate. Um, yeah, I've been watching his podcast, so um, I don't know what he's... Sometimes if it's a guest, I don't know, I might not watch it. Sometimes it might be the very fact that I don't know the guest that I watch it. Um, yeah, I should sit up straight, shouldn't I? Be presentable for my podcast. Jesus. But yeah, so moving on to Joe Rogan, like I was going to say before. He had Mike Tyson on the other week, and that was really interesting to see how he's changed as a person and the struggles of life he went through. And um, his famous coach, what's his name? D'Amato, I think. Italian, by the way. <laughs> um, is that his name? I can't remember his name. I'll look up his name right now, actually. All right, so here we go. Constantin Cas D'Amato. Yes. He's Italian, guys. So, yeah, this was the coach of Mike Tyson. And the story is just amazing how he, he made... He helped Mike Tyson become the legend at only, only 19 when he really became famous for being this the type of fighter that he was. No nonsense. People people feared him, literally. And in the podcast, he mentions it quite a few times. Like, some people were just scared to fight him. And he talks about how he got away from that aggression after boxing. What helped him, the dr- many drugs... Uh, different parts of his life when he was in prison in a mental institution how he bought that tiger which actually happened when he was in prison anyway it's a great podcast he's a funny guy as well Mike Tyson for all the, the aggression and all the boxing yeah, he's a funny guy really it's just amazing uh, to see the story to hear it from, like from the horse's mouth um, I mean I, I've, I'm not that well versed in boxing, but everyone knows Mike Tyson, you know. There's Mike Tyson, there's Muhammad Ali, there's many other, you know, many other fighters. Rocky Marciano, can't forget him. He's Italian, of course. Um, of, of course, I've seen all the Rocky movies. The character was based on that, believe it or not. Um, I think, kind of. But yeah, so there's a lot of boxers that have been legendary, but Mike Tyson, it's another level. A beast. <laughs> and yeah, you get to see a soft side in this interview. A side that you don't... But that you wouldn't associate with him. And his, all his business endeavours he's got now. Um, it's amazing. We see old legends, you know. Still going. But changing their life in some way. Not always devoted to the same thing. In his case, boxing. And yeah... Uh, moving back, going back to my story, um, yeah, it's always humble beginnings, isn't it? For anyone who 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 gets anywhere, even if you you don't get to the height of Mike Tyson as a boxer, you're gonna have have been through a lot to get where you are, has sacrificed a lot to get there. And you know you're either gonna be the best or die trying. In this case, it's better to do that than not try at all, than and not know. There we go, guys. I found it. So Mike Tyson revealed how he bought pet tigers on Joe Rogan's podcast. (laughs) 
it, it was just a, a big event for the pod. Well, Joe Rogan's been around so long on the podcast. Is he ever starstruck? No. But I mean, Mike Tyson is this different level of guest. I mean, I don't watch every every Joe Rogan podcast, but this one I had to. Couldn't miss this one. And he was talking about John Jones, M- 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 MMA, MMA legend. If if I can actually speak. Yeah, he's still wedged though. And there you go. But yeah, so podcast eight. Podcast eight. We're in the thick of it, literally. Um, so yeah, where have I been in relation to the podcast in the last two weeks? I've had so many family members over. I've had my brother's birthday, mainly why they were here. Um, so it was just, again, a full house, once again. It's never not a full house here. And so we, they came, what, Tuesday last week. And guess what happened Tuesday? It snowed. It snowed the same day that it arrived. My mum went to pick them up, actually. It was about two in the afternoon. By four, it was properly snowing. And it settled, kind of. There's a bit of chaos here, as usual. A few flights cancelled. Speaking of which, today, it's snowing again. Friday the 1st of Feb, snowing again. Two weeks in a row. It's just funny, like, when they were, when they were here last week... It's like such a gift for them to see snow, but again, what a day, what a day to cause chaos. It's weird because the sun was shining that day. It was a lovely day in the morning and then suddenly snow. You know, even when they were on their flight, they, they, it was clear skies. Strange. But that is England for you. And yeah, so I didn't actually go around London with them at all. They didn't go to central London a lot just because my parents are working, my brother was at work, so we couldn't really take them around. Um, so they kind of did their own thing in the daytime and in the evening we all met here and we all ate. So two of my two of my aunties, um, so my cousin who's here, Fabio, is mum and one of my other aunties, so, so two of my dad's sisters basically. They were both over and my uncle being my dad's younger brother and his wife and one of his kids, one of my younger cousins, he's only 13 but he's a good kid, he's grown up. I remember when he was a kid, like a little kid. Like, when he was born. But yeah, it makes me feel old, but... You know. We had fun, we had a lot of banter. Uh, always, like, a lot of food as well. It's never not food. Always eating, we are. I mean, that's what we do. Italians, you know. So, with all that going on... Um, how could I? How could I podcast? How could I really do it? So I didn't. I did vlog, kind of vlog, but not really that week. Not... Did I? I, I uploaded one, I know that for a fact. Um, but yeah, so then... When was my brother's birthday? Last Friday now. A week ago already. 25th... Was it Friday? Or was, yeah, they left Saturday. So it was Friday. It was Friday. 25th, I believe. If I'm getting my dates right. Yeah, so we went... To our local Italian restaurant, restaurant, Al Fresco. Um, I've made a video about that before, and I quite a few actually. It featured in one of my. I actually made a vlog about it. It's where we we go to eat most of the time. It's local, just down the road. So we took everyone there, and funny enough, my uncle, I think my mum's brother, was over from America, not America, Italy. If I can get any. You want to, I want to get this story right. Imagine if, guys, before I carry on, imagine if I was in court right now, telling, like, if I was a witness, there's something trying to recall what I saw, the court would just kick me out, you know. False evidence or something. <laughs> Failure to provide accurate witness, whatever. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll string me up, they'll arrest me. Just because I'm a witness, I end up being arrested. But in prison, just for giving the wrong... The wrong statement or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so it was my brother's birthday. We went there. Cake and all. 
So like I said, my uncle from Italy was over. Just then we didn't bring the wife or my cousin, but there you go, they were over. My grandparents, of course, were um my my two two my other my mum's other two brothers. She got three brothers. For her. <laughs> yeah, so they were all there. So it was nice. It was uh it was what you expect, but uh, we needed to get a lot more drunk than we did because we, they were out in the morning. I think my little cousin went with my dad to work so he could, like, uh, permit, not perm his hair, but like, he did something to his hair to make it curly. I don't know because his hair's really straight, my little cousin. So my dad did that. And then they were all like around, they didn't go to London that day, they were around the local area. So then they came back, it was like, after lunch, like three, I think, two or three, they all came back. We chilled out, watched some TV, all together, and then the evening went out for the birthday meal, you know. But um, my brother just wanted to go out and get drunk before that. But it meant we needed two cars, so my dad, my brother, or my dad, and my dad were about to drive, or my mum, so that you know you can't have the birthday boy not drinking. So that was that, and we just went out in the evening, Saturday. Yeah, we're meant to do something else. But Saturday we just chilled. Went me, my brother and my other cousin. This is once everyone's gone, by the way. Back to Italy that day. Me, my brother and my other cousin went into Oxford Street. But yeah, another another story I just remembered. Like they had so they had to go back the Saturday morning. So we got home from my brother's party and we're at home and they're like getting a few hours sleep before they have to get up at like three AM to get their flight. <laughs> Would you believe it? So it's like, it was really weird because he couldn't even enjoy his birthday. We were home early. It was like midnight and we're not home and his mate was texting him asking, like, what are you doing? Why are you at home already? <laughs> it's your birthday. But they did have a surprise. Some fireworks in the garden that woke up all the neighbours. So I heard from one of the neighbours. <laughs> it was like about midnight, you know, waking everyone up with these fireworks. My uncle basically distracted my brother to get him into the garden somehow like he was saying like this light it's not working you know and my brother being Jim will fix it well you can't say that anymore my brother being the person that is liking to fix anything electrical he was there on the spot and then while they were doing that my dad lit the fireworks and there you go and the smell was just horrific it was like it, it was like someone went to the bathroom really badly um <laughs> And then we just couldn't get the smell out of the house. Light, lighting candles, opening windows. Because we had the door open when we were watching the fireworks. Because I wasn't going to go outside to watch some fireworks. But we'd planned this without telling my brother. And it was like a surprise. Everyone was saying to me, uh, go outside, go outside. I was like, why? Why do I have to go outside? And then I realised, like, oh, fireworks. <laughs> so at that point, it was like, okay. I'm not going out just for that. So I didn't. Basically. So yeah, and then Saturday, I did vlog, like I said. But yeah, they were gone already and it was all done. Within no time. It's like, what? So anyway, while I'm here, guys, I'm just going to look up this Logan Paul thing. This going gay for March that he said he was going to do. And upset so many people. If this thing works... So here we have it. It's an article from The Independent. So Logan Paul is facing intense backlash for saying that he's going to attempt to go gay for one month as a New Year's resolution. Yeah, so basically it was a New Year's resolution. I haven't actually seen the podcast, but I've seen the one after where he's talking about it. So written here in this article, they're saying, I can't believe Logan Paul is going to to be going gay for a month, like it's some sort of, I can't even see that because that thing's in the way, sort of end, I'm disgusted, okay, but yeah, that's what they said, that's what whoever wrote this said, Sabrina Barr, okay, uh, the YouTube YouTuber made the controversial statement while speaking on his podcast Impulsive Alongside Co-host Mike Mike Malak and guest Kelvin Penner. Otherwise, 
known as internet star brother nature yeah don't know should I should I know him but yeah so it sparked a bit of controversy you go down there yeah okay I explained how they were having a sober vegan January before revealing the resolutions they were going get going to undertake in the following two months yeah so there you go after stating that they were going to be doing fatal February during which they'd eat steaks and drink vodka Penna then asked the pair what they were going to do for March what is it male only March Paul said we're going to attempt to go gay just for one month and there you go guys that's the joke well the bad joke that the offensive joke that it shouldn't be a joke really even though he's an advocate for LGBTQ I got it right that time I got it right yeah he just face it so yeah going down there talking about the barrage of criticism he's facing yes poor Logan Paul I, I kind of feel bad because like some other people it might not be taken out of that context as something really offensive but yeah, he did try and divert it in in the following podcast. But he is he is sorry. That's the main thing. And we've seen his apology video videos before. He's not going to make an apology video for this. He's already made his apology on his podcast. But yeah, he's always going to be controversial because the podcast is called Impulsive. I mean. From my point of view, like, whatever he says is going to be taken in some way, shape or form, good or bad, and they're going to just blow it up in some way. I mean, they can't not do that. It's a guy people love to hate, right? Just can't imagine, like, I mean, when you get that much fame, you're going to have haters, aren't you? But what he's done in the past, we all know. So where he is now... Is, He's getting better as a person, trying to improve his way of being, but um, for now, yeah, he's going to get abused by by everyone. And then there's a few tweets here. All right, let's read this tweet. So, Daniel Preda. I don't know. Mr. Pr Preda. It's not Prada. B and A. So... Yeah, I can't read his name, but anyway. Logan Paul joking about being gay for one month while, while countlessly, countless LGBTQ around the world, LGBT in this case, they left out the Q for some reason, around the world are killed and committed suicide for their sexuality. It's, it's disgusting. He continues to be an awful representation of YouTube community and shows... He truly has learned nothing over the past year. Okay, yeah. But he's still immature. He's not going to not be immature overnight. I don't think he'll ever be mature as such. He is who he is. He didn't mean to offend anyone, but yeah. Why am I defending him? I mean, just don't make... If you're on a podcast, everyone's watching, don't say that. You know, say it, say it in a different way. There's ways and ways, like he was told on, on his own podcast. So, yeah. Enough of that, really. Enough about Logan Paul. But yeah, that's in the news recently. Um, so, yeah. Just updating you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments, though. My point of view as well. Um, I mean, if you're going to say something, do think about what you're going to say. Um, I have that trouble all the time. <laughs> I mean... If I go wrong on this podcast, if I say something offensive, I am, you know. But I'm probably not likely to because it's not in my nature to offend intention. Well, you can always do it by mistake. But the type of thing he mentioned, like, in that context, I mean, I, w I, w I wouldn't say something like that. But, yeah, I mean, I can see where he's coming from in the sense that he didn't know he would be offending people and such. And he meant it as a joke. But yeah, I mean, if I say something out of turn here, sometimes normally I notice and I edit it out. Um, but you know, there's jokes and there's that. It's differentiating between the, the two, because I mean, when you're talking to 
someone face to face it's different you know if you know someone you know well um they're not going to take it the wrong way and then tell everyone but when you're in the public eye like like that then well just don't do that that's what i say i mean i i've probably offended people in the past um you know when you get your anger gets ahead of you yeah but this was like in a joking way the way he said it so making a joke we can't offend people yes but in in, mo in most people's eyes you, just, you know they'll laugh it off in some way they will be offended and they'll go go away later and tell someone else probably but um you know it's not the kind of thing you joke about around people because like you can be offending anyone you know especially when you don't know people where you don't know what's what their fam their own family's been through what maybe they've been through in the past good or bad in relation to that so yeah subject like this like you can't just say he's going gay for a month like because that, that mean that means he'd have to you know admit if he's gay or not you know he's he, he said he's not but he's got nothing against lgbt community and you know even if he's saying that he's still made the mistake even if he's an advocate for it he can't make that sort of joke if anything it's worse for him to make that sort of joke but personally i'll, I'll probably you know every now and then when i was younger i'd probably write something on facebook i shouldn't have you know even if i swear on facebook i get a bit paranoid um it's different in, i don't know in, that's what i mean in person you can swear and do whatever but when it's recorded you know you you all seen what happens on twitter when you say something out of turn look at kevin hart he said something offensive to the gay community and he kind of got crucified for it it was a long time ago but still he said it the director of uh, james, is it james gunn the director of guardians of the galaxy same thing they found an old tweet what well, that was, was a bit weird based on his past something from the past and he lost a job so i mean even if you're not famous like you go for a job they're going to check they're probably going to check your facebook or something they're, they're definitely going to have a look i mean i heard the story today on the radio it was i think it was lbc jeremy vine and lbc i think saying how like there's a, a girl who ended up crying at the bus stop after she didn't get a job like after a job interview um where the guy said like was looking on the spotify account to see what music she had and you know he wasn't happy with the way she was sitting in the interview yeah nerves okay yeah fine maybe but yeah he wasn't happy with that and asking about her parents are they married divorced this and that which is a bit intrusive i mean when it comes to music you just ask someone what the type of music is but if you're going through their spotify like that i mean god knows if you're going through their facebook or what i mean i wouldn't be surprised you know so in, in that instance she didn't get the job obviously and the conversation was like was the guy being too harsh or is that just how it is with jobs but yeah so in relation to me i could go for a job interview and very much capable of losing a job or not getting a job because of something you wrote on facebook or twitter or social media in the past um but there you go you know an example of that and make what you will of that i mean that's just crazy like a job interview all, all those things is a bit weird isn't it i mean obviously you wouldn't want that job would you why would you want to work for a person like that anyway i do not know i mean the advantage of youtube is you don't go through that i guess i've applied to so many jobs I've had many voluntary jobs and I tell you what like yeah it makes you think like you know when you're talking to people joking about things like you know you've got to draw a line because the less you know about someone the more, more likely you are to offend them because you don't know about something that may have happened to them in the past you know you meet someone on the street you don't know if they're having a good day or not they might treat you like crap but then they might have a reason to they might have been through something that year or that day or that month or whatever that you wouldn't understand from that moment or obviously you wouldn't know about it so you know but it's difficult when you're in the 
Like, you, you see it with people when they're in jobs they don't like at all. They just treat everyone like crap because they feel like crap. But that's not right, really, is it? Of course, there's jobs where you want you don't want to... You wouldn't want to have, ideally, you know. Everyone wants more than what they've got, no matter how much they've got. So really, you got to appreciate what you, what you have. Uh, it's difficult to do, but... Um, yeah, I mean, you look at how these famous rich people have been taken down by something they've said in the past, or the way they've treated someone, you know. Because karma. Karma, you know, what goes around comes around. Karma's a bitch. I mean, can't avoid that. You see it in everything, not just this sort of thing, but anything, you know. Treat someone bad the next day, you know, you might regret it. And you might meet that same person in a different situation. And you might need their, their trust or their respect. But they might not have yours for, because of what you said in the past. Um, but yeah. So you just be careful, Logan Paul. <laughs> I'm just... Um, I'm glad I'm not that kind of person in the public eye, you know, with all that, all that trouble going on. Just grateful that, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I w when I get, if I get fame, I'm not saying I will, I'm not saying I ever will, or crave it in any way, but there's ways to deal with it, come on. Not just end up in rehab, like they will do. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what it is nowadays. Well, it's probably always been like that, you know. But now Twitter and Facebook keep a record of everything, so. Unless you go back and delete it, it's probably still there. It's probably still there, even if you delete it. I mean, you know, you, you can't guarantee that. But people are going back now, deleting their own tweets. Tell you what, if you're famous, they'll be telling you that. If you're rich or famous in any way, you'll be deleting your tweets. <laughs> and the funny thing happened to Case Neistat in relation to old tweets the other day, that Burger King likes three of his old tweets from like eight years ago, and he made a whole video about it, and he's having to go at Burger King, like, um, because why him, you know, it happened to a lot of other people, but, so he screenshotted it and he tweeted back, why is Burger King liking these, and it was like some sort of experiment they were doing, not an experiment, it's basically an advert to get people talking about Burger King. Because think about it, Burger King are second to McDonald's no matter what they do. Like Coca-Cola versus Pepsi. Coca-Cola is top of the market no matter what. Market leader. Pepsi's forever following them or copying them or trying to be them, but they probably never will. It happens sometimes. People, Huge companies have been around for years, go out of business. But, you know what I mean? Like... So Burger King is always second to McDonald's, or f or it could be third. I don't know. Maybe there's others. Yeah, you know, I could. You could say Subway. You know, things like that. But that is it. Um. So Casey made this video. Essentially, quite funny actually, because at the end he he gets a whole Burger King meal, throws it in the bin, and then after the credits he's eating it out of the. He's like, oh, this is just a clean bin. I I, I couldn't waste this food. You know, it's dramatic effect. Just the best bit of the video, and he like wrote like, uh, you know, I didn't mean anything by this Burger King, you know. We can always work together. Call me. So, and it, but he was offended, but um, you know, he took it on the chin and took it as a opportunity, turned a negative into a positive. So just go and watch the video; you'll enjoy it anyway. It's a good laugh. But yeah. So. It's difficult. I mean, from from Casey's point of view, Burger King, I mean, you can't just slate them off completely. You know, they've done it, it's a marketing ploy, and it's a good one. Whoever done it, he said, should be promoted. And he's right, because <laughs> that's, that's pretty clever. I mean, get people talking about Burger King, why not? It, it You know, it helps, anything like that. I mean, when I was at school, I studied business at A-levels and GCSE, so... I kind of know about these market leaders and all the different things relating to marketing and business in that sense. The basics, anyway. Um, what I mean, All I remember is writing essays about it, about marketing and cash flow and profit and net profit and net worth and all this <laughs> revenue and 
I don't know, whatever other stupid words that maybe right at the end of every paragraph to connect it to business. <laughs> but yeah, and we we actually did projects all on McDonald's and the very fact that they are market leaders and why no one else can beat them. It's like Coca-Cola versus Pepsi, I said. Coca-Cola, you know, or even Heinz versus other companies that make ketchup. There's not many, is there? But, you know, I mean, there's always like a a secret to what, what, they, what they do, a secret ingredient in these cases. But, yeah, I like a Burger King as much as a McDonald's. I mean, I, I don't know, it's, but they're both unhealthy. You know, KFC as well, KFC is like, it's different to both, you know, it's a different kettle of fish altogether. Chicken, fried chicken, man. <laughs> well, you're making me think of fried chicken now. I'm actually hungry now. <laughs> Just eating as well. Alright, changing the subject a bit, guys. Again, just a reminder, if you have not checked out my latest song, my first ever, on my channel, go and check that out. It's also on my SoundCloud, JohnLuca28. You'll find it there. The audio, that is. The video is on YouTube. I've got more of these to come. Guys, I just used all the B-roll I had, basically. And I got so much B-rolls, that so there's just infinite amount of footage I can use from my old vlogs and stuff for this type of music video. It's not really a music video, is it? It's just like, I, I don't know what to call it, but it's my own invention, I guess. But I've been inspired by a few other people, um, Austin Orgy being one of them, and a channel that he... He um, made a video for on, well, he made made the music and made the video for it using his B-roll, I guess. So that, that inspired me, and you know that it's not the kind of song I intended to create, but that's how it was with the app I had available to me. I'm gonna find a better app to use. This one was Music Maker. Don't know if it's any good. I might use. It's not called Fruit Loop. It's called FL nowadays because Fruit Loop is a serial so they can't call it Fruit Loop anymore. But that is the, the best one for mixing music I believe. If you know of any others, do get in the comments guys. I appreciate it if you do. I will give you a shout out if you do too. I'm not giving you any money because I ain't got any money but speaking of which that's what KSI did on the recent uh, video of his. He just phoned up a bunch of... Uh, well he allowed fans to phone him and ask one question. So one of them phones up and goes, you're right, and that is a question, isn't it? So he done he said his one question, so it's like, bye. And the amount of people just drop, drop the phone on, literally. Just put down the phone, half of his own fans. Or he got in an argument, or he actually got on with probably one of them. But yeah, if I get to that level, I'm just... Don't argue with your own fans, they're your fans for a reason. Because they're fans of you, don't make them your enemy. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of KSI videos recently. Just the way he laughs, it is like Scooby-Doo. Logan was right. Um, but that is the nature of being on YouTube. You're probably going to get in an argument with one of your fans. Some of them are a bit fanatical. We've all, we've all been there. No, we haven't. But you know what I mean. If you're famous, you get those fanatical fans. They just don't leave you alone. Not busy, but you know, last few weeks or so. So I've been late with this podcast. I was going to wait even longer to make it, but why not do it now? I could have done it live. Done a live, like, live video and made it into a podcast. But yeah, anyway, here we are. Stick into the normal routine. 2019, it's the 1st of Feb, guys. And yeah, we've been a, a month into the... The year, it's felt like a year already. It's been a long, long January and probably more snow to come. Like you can see from my windows, it's white outside. Um, yeah, just chaos every time it snows in England. My brothers at work in the south of England today where there's more snow. Um, it varies, it's either north or south. Funny enough, when he was, the week of his birthday when everyone was here, he was actually away for a few days in Liverpool for a course he was doing for his work. So technically it was at work, but 
Yeah, so he didn't get back till the Thursday. So that week was just crazy. Everyone was up and down. And more of the same this week with the snow. We've got less guests over, but it's been crazy. I've had so many guests over this the last two or three months. And I was watching back some of my old vlogs. And, yeah, the stuff I've been through this year. I mean, the last three, four months. I mean, last year. I mean, 2018. It was just chaos, like, from being ill myself to the loss in the family and all that is just unbelievable. <laughs> and a lot of good times too. A lot of vlogs that I remember how much fun I had making. Um, the amount of great weather we had, the great summer. Heat waves after heat waves. I was watching one where when I think it was when I dyed my hair previously before before Christmas, if you know what I mean. I did it in the summer, like June. I think it was around the twenty seventh of June, one of my vlogs. And it was just just started raining really hard, bucketing down, and I was caught in the rain. Um, but it was really hot at the same time and humid. It's like one of them weird days, and there was like a thunderstorm when I got home. But yeah, I want to get back to just the spontaneous vlogs. And just some of them are like really creative, even though they're just the most random thing that might not even be that interesting, you know, in my local area. But I made the most of it. I mean, that weather too. Just great for vlogging. I mean, I've been caught in the rain on the vlog before in my first year of vlogging in 2017. But nobody remembers those vlogs, do they? Apart from me, they're still ingrained in my brain. There's so many that I forgot that I've actually done. And that I have to re-upload. Like I said earlier, the Billie Eilish video. Now, if you haven't heard of her and you're new here, I better re-upload that video now. Just ask, just comment. Ask me to re-upload it and I will. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely considering it. I, I, actually, I'm, why not just do it? Why, why wait for you guys to say it's my channel after all? But yeah, probably ju just gonna do that. Gonna have to get out all the bits that got copyrighted, which is most of it. Because I took like video clips and obviously the music from elsewhere and put it in the video. And YouTube does not like that. I mean, it's difficult on YouTube nowadays. It's not easy because of all the restrictions and like take for instance one of my previous videos like the other day um what was it monday the video with it with the instagram post with that giant uh the the one that's the background on my youtube channel anyway the video i did for that was called instagram posts shopping centers and freezing my you know what i mean off <laughs> anyway that vlog it was in that one, I think. There was a song on in one of the shops, and the sound picked it up, and it got copyright, copyrighted, and the video can't be monetized unless I erase that bit of sound, which is fine. I'll do that. But come on, YouTube. I mean, it's just a second, like not like thirty seconds of a song. I couldn't even hear it myself. There was music playing, yeah, but uh, come on. It does say that in the small print, but still, like, that's unfair. I mean, I've missed out on views there. Of course, I'm I'm gonna get rid of that bit of sound, but yeah, annoying, just really annoying. What, what YouTube's doing to us creators, like some people getting their channels completely blocked for no reason. Strange, but that's what YouTube do. They act strange all the time. It's weird because you've not got a direct like employer you can phone and moan at you know it's just a they send you a check well not me personally but um to the the ones that actually make money from this proper the the bigger youtubers proper i'm a proper youtuber what am i saying but yeah it's still annoying like any job like any job and you can offend people too or just by doing nothing you can offend someone like on YouTube, you see comments like, saw one the other day, it's just a, it was like a meme for it, it was just the abuse you get. Like, hi, it's my first time on uh, on YouTube. And then someone else commented, who the hell is this? And then the return comment was like, something really vulgar, and like, F you, um, you illiterate something. You can't even spell, because the guy wrote something wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, those kind of memes, like, <laughs> you, you, you get heavily abused on, on YouTube. 
in the comments, <laughs> or if you're commenting, or vice versa. Um, I've seen it before in the past. Like you get the odd random comment for someone just is, is is just at keyboard all day, got nothing better to do than comment on people's videos that they worked hard on. But yeah, you gotta have a thick skin. I've developed that. <laughs> I mean, banter is just banter, but when you're taking it online from someone you don't even know, take FIFA for example. Playing online, FIFA, if they have their headset on, oh my god, like, I'm not good at abusing people. I can't just go F you over a headset if they score against me, you know. I I'll be more, like, sarcastic. But the, the odds person you will end up having to chat with and then, then you'll score a bit. Oh no, sorry, I scored. Way. Um, but if, like, I mean, since then I haven't used my headset, but if I do, it's just awkward. I just don't want to say anything. And then they're going to say something, like, if they're foreign, they'll be swearing in their language when you score, or they just rage quit. But I, I can understand it'll, it'll be distracting. Like, if you just keep talking to them, just annoy them while you're playing, you know. But yeah, you've got to have a thick skin in, in this world, online and offline, um, because you're going to meet people who just don't like you, full stop. And you're going to meet people who just really love you and you can't understand why. I have a lot of that that a lot of both well not so much the hate i mean the hate's just a strong word for anything but don't be hating <laughs> anyway um exactly just just do what you do just someone's not gonna not everyone's gonna like it someone's gonna be jealous because they can't they can't actually do that in their own life maybe they don't have the same freedoms you do i've seen that before too um, I mean, I don't know many people that do YouTube like I do in my own circle of friends or family or people I know, local area, you know, pretty unique in that sense. And my mates the other night, he's like, I want to start a YouTube channel. I was like, well, what are you going to do? He's like, I don't know yet. Well, think of something. Just do it. I mean, with me, it was a lot, there was a bit of hesitation. But in the end, I just did it. Like, why not? Just talk to a camera. My first vlog was terrible, but it was fun. And remember how proud I was when I uploaded it. it took ages because my internet was so crap at that time. So I uploaded it and then I was like, is this really how easy it is? And then I got addicted from there. Uploading. I try. I tried to be a daily vlogger. I'm not. I tried to be. I do vlog quite a lot, but at the beginning it was, it was more than it was now. Because when I started, it was like he heading into summer. It was like April. April, May time, so it was a bit, you know, a nicer weather. So I felt like going out more. I could, you know, not get stuck in the snow. I felt like doing vlogs outdoors. So I did, but yeah, so at that point, I, I didn't care what anyone thought. Just went and did. I didn't tell many people either. Only until later, I started getting better at it. When I was, you know, I had better stuff to show for what I did. And I've had advice from people on where to take it and what to do next. You know, what, like I said to the, earlier on, like people ask me, are you finding a job? No, this is my job. But people can't understand that unless they, they've done something similar. Because it's different to any job where you go out. And what, I, I have more freedom in that sense. I mean, not that it's been easy, not that right now I could drop this and find a job. I, I did that for two years. It, it didn't work. It, it will work for some people, not for everyone. Or you just go back to uni and do a master's, but no thank you. Yeah, learning's good all the time. I've got books. <laughs> and like it says in my horoscope, I like I like books, but, you know, not as much as my horoscope makes out I do, but yeah. I like to read a good book. A few biographies here and there. Got Moby Dick over here. A few other biographies... A few James Bond books, you know. Malcolm X, I haven't read that yet. I've talked about these books before, but anyway. So, yeah. That's that's what's... Uh, that, that's how it was at the beginning. And you you got to... Take both sides. you got to look at it from both sides. Because, you know, people can dish it out. They can't always take it. <laughs> um, it's, it's quite... Um, it's quite ironic, really how it works when people can abuse someone else but they get their own abuse and they're like whoa 
but it takes a lot to take criticism that's accurate and admit it as as a like a self critique if you like but don't be hating yourself that's the worst thing you can do you've got to be confident I mean everyone likes a bit of confidence no one likes too much but just enough to give you the belief to do what you want to do because if I didn't have confidence why would I be on YouTube if I was concerned about what people think you know I wouldn't be here on YouTube would I but here we are and it's 2019 so two years and like I said this year has only just started but it's felt longer I mean I've just been busy with family and stuff but yeah here and there snow as well probably bound to have more of it I had a cup game last week that I'm, I'm going to get into right now actually um, it was against Aston Villa Pouchier Football WFA Cup don't know which round, I can't remember which round it was. But anyway, I know we would have played West Brom's second team had we won this, which is a fellow championship team, but Aston Villa are fifth, fourth, fourth in the premiership when we're in the championship, we're third in the championship. So our mission was to win, but we didn't. We got battered 5-0. And honestly, I thought we were going to win it. But not everyone was as confident as they should have been. Going back to confidence, you need it. You need a bit of belief, and then otherwise how are you going to win? So, you didn't go well at all. Um, we just, the game just got away from us after the first few goals. Some were lucky, some were a bit fluky, but they they did it, they did a lot to win the game. They did what they needed to do to win the game, Villa. And they got a lot of experienced players, many of which I played against when I used to play for my ex-team in the Premiership. Um, many of them I knew, knew know well, good friends off the pitch. Um, but that, that's football, isn't it? I mean, I thought we were going to win, but we didn't. <laughs> I knew it would be a tight game, a strong, strong challenge, you know, strong team, big challenge. But we didn't pull it off in the end. I mean, last year in the Cup, I beat my ex-team. No, I didn't. I scored against my ex-team. It felt like I beat them because we scored. And how I celebrated was like we won the game. But yeah, we made that 2-2. Two -two. We, we lost 6-2 in the end. We just got outplayed in the end. Championship versus Premiership, that's how it is. You need everyone on top form. Even then, my ex-team, being the, the top team that they were, you can't just... Not anyone could just breeze past them. But but at least we scored. In this game, we didn't. This was Aston Villa. A bit lower down the table, but still. I, I was just not happy. Not happy that we didn't win. And our tactics weren't wrong, you know what I mean? We we did what we practiced in training. Just frustrating and then Yeah, that was just one of them days. It wasn't a pleasant day. Was wasn't at all. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's only a game at the end of the day, but we we were committed. We were committed, so when you lose it, it hurts. <laughs> when you win, yeah. But either way, at the end of the day, I always think I'm still getting to go home to to a roof under my head, a house, you know, all of that. Nothing changes in that sense, whether you win or lose, just how you feel that day. Because now I'm fine about it, but still, we've got to get back to... When we get back, the league starts up again, probably in March, just to play it safe with the snow. They don't. We don't play in January or February. Or December for that matter. So March I think it is. We'll be back to Nottingham for the championship. Um, there'll be many vlogs on that. As always. They're the, they're the best kind of vlogs. Nottingham weekends. All crammed into one normally. Doesn't always work. It's always a bit longer than it should be. Like One week is like 25 minutes long. Too long for a vlog. I'm trying to keep them short and sweet really. But podcasting is different. You just need opinions on things. You need to give your opinion. But be fair at the same time. And don't do what Logan Paul does. Or did. But yeah. Uh, I try and keep it light. More light with the topics I talk about. The other one was all about me learning about doctors and all that. And really they're there to help. I mean, in my situation you need to listen to them. 
for, for your own health reasons, you know, self-preservation in some ways. Uh, like, you need to... If you don't love yourself, who do you love? How can you love anyone if you don't love yourself? It's pretty simple, really. So even if I'm getting fed up with some of these doctors, they probably hear it all the time and they've got a thick skin too, I'm sure. Get, they sure I'm sure they, of all people, get criticism left, right and centre from different patients, even though they're always trying to do their job to the best of their ability, you know. But yeah, that was a funny story, that whole hospital weekend. It was a weekend in the end, but we got to go out to, around Leicester Square, me and my dad, and that was a great, great time. But I, I recently, I'm just, not just in 2019, but even in December, we're just taking every day as it comes, more like appreciating the little things. And it's not easy to do. It's not easy to appreciate the little things when you've got so much going on and so much that you could be blaming things on and moaning about. But to blame others is just pointless. Most of the things you can change by the way you act and the way you feel, Pretty, it's just up to you, really. Not always, not always, guys. Bear that in mind. <laughs> but I've realised that. Like, I probably had fun with all this family over. We've always been busy. And when you don't have time to stop and think, it's better, really. Otherwise, you reflect in the wrong... Like, you, you reflect negatively on things too much. Like, I could have done this better or that. But, like I said earlier, I was looking back on my old vlogs and it made me realise what I've been through recently. But I could still put a smile on my face and talk to you guys. I mean, I missed a lot of vlogging over that time because we spent few weeks grieving after my grandma in September, end of September, no, September, beginning of September. And then by October I was ill, in and out of hospital, two or three, two a week, two weeks or so, in and out. I got healthy again. They told me what I needed to do to improve my health in the future. So I needed to gain weight, I've been doing that. And then I was back at the hospital two weeks ago for another checkup, and I'd gained two kilos, so that was good. But yeah, all of this was like a build-up of things from losing my grandma. I think that caused a lot of the the problems after that. The illness I had, I don't know if it's related at all, the stomach problems I had, but sometimes it is. It's the brain. The brain works in weird ways. Um, but there were great times in the year as well, great vlogs that I made, great moments that I didn't put on the vlog. My birthday, of course, that was a great vlog. The birthday vlog. <laughs> Everyone loves that vlog. Even people in Italy that were in it, they just keep talking about it. Because it was, it was a great 24 hours. Hope to do that again this year. But yeah, speaking of birthdays, my brother's birthday, we, got, we had family over. This was the first time, so it was great for him to have family over for his. Because mine is always in Italy when we got all the family there anyway. So it's, you know, nothing lost for me. It's always that that same amount of people, you know. Uh, it gets a bit boring, though. I don't like... And one thing my horoscope says is that I don't like being the centre of attention. I do not like being the centre of attention. And maybe this YouTube will make me that in some form or another in the future. Don't care if it does or not, really. I do it for the fun of it and for the love of you guys, all 77 of you, and come on, we can get to 100 eventually. I set that target a long time ago, didn't get there, but you just got to keep going, keep making videos, quantity over quality, well, the quality will get better the more vlogs I make, and I've been doing it for two years, so I can only get better. I'm bound to be a lot better than when I started. I'm making music now, I'm making podcasts, all different types of videos, not just vlogs. So we've come a long way in that sense. And I haven't offended anyone like Logan Paul has. I haven't got to that level yet. <laughs> Am I going to get to that level where to offend everyone and the, the person people love to hate? I don't know. I don't know. I'm joking. Uh, I, need, I need a guest on this podcast. Um, good friend of mine, George who made the movie all about me, the movie called No Legs, No Problem. And that's completely my choice, that title. And that, that's offensive, I know. Yep, I've just offended people, haven't I? 
what I just said I'm not going to do. I just did. But myself, I like, offended myself, basically. But it doesn't even make sense because I do have legs. They just don't work properly. <laughs> so yeah, it's just ironic that I made that as a title. So there'll be No Legs No Problem Part 2 soon. I don't know, maybe. We're famous at Farnham Uni, that's all I know. Like, to everyone at that uni who watched it, they're like, these guys are legends. I mean, there's a bit in that movie when my brother mentioned something about how he can't remember anything before the age of 12. People were like, what is wrong with this person? But in a funny way, they were like, what? why? Why do you not know what went on in your life before the age of 12? I remember, like, when I was seven, went to my first football game, Tottenham Newcastle, night 99 or something. One of them years, anyway. I can't remember how old I was exactly, but yeah. I can remember stuff before I was 12. But my brother can't. <laughs> now that film, I've re-uploaded vlogs about that, talking about that, in the past. It's such a great movie. And it got so many views, so many followers. It made my channel where it is today. And it got me thinking now. I was writing a, a blog, wasn't I, a few weeks back, all about what what got me into football, how I got to where I am. And YouTube is very much a part of that. And I mentioned that movie. And I went over the word count. I had 300 words I needed to write for the Wheelchair Football Association website. Um, I ended up writing 1,000. I had to trim it down. I can only trim it down to 600 because of the amount of stuff that came out of playing Padshare football. Hence this YouTube channel, really. Well, no. I didn't plan to put football on here, but it it came with it because it's part of my life and it's always been on the channel you know those of you who are not familiar with it maybe I don't explain it in that much detail but there's plenty of ways to find out the rules and what goes on in Padre football around the world the World Cup so many events we've got the Champions League Champions Cup that I've been to in the past in Denmark and that was a trip that I, re I probably should make a podcast all about that. But it's all in the past, really. That was with my previous team. I'm at this new team now, and like I said... Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I'm popular, guys. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it was... Um, this, the past weekend we lost. But I still love the sport, no matter what. I lose or win, win or lose. Draw, whatever. Um, As a team. Even if... I'm getting so annoyed. Everyone else was annoyed that we didn't win. We're all upset. It's just difficult, isn't it? Like with anything, you're not going to get the best result every time. And with me and my horoscope, that got me thinking. Of course. I mean, I, I want, I'm looking for perfection. I want to win every game, but you can't. <laughs> you just can't. I mean, I'm a Spurs fan. I mean, I, I see it all the time. We win, we lose. Every team wins and loses. Some games you should win, some games you shouldn't. And maybe you win the ones you shouldn't and you don't win the ones you should. Or vice versa, like the Palace, Crystal Palace game in the cup. That was just, what happened there? I mean, I didn't, even, I didn't see the whole game, but I know we we clearly didn't do enough. <laughs> Losing 2-0 to Palace, a team we barely beat 1-0 last time. Bear in mind, they didn't have Zahar on the pitch. And that was in the Premier League, so it's different. But in the cup, little teams just have nothing to lose and they go for it. Take Juventus, they lost 3-0 to Atalanta, like a mid-table team who had nothing to lose in that cup game and they went for it and they won 3-0 against the likes of Ronaldo and Dybala and Matuidi, Chiellini all these legendary players of uh, of Juventus you know, so anything can happen in football and in life <laughs> uh, it's been an interesting vlog it's not a vlog, is it? Every time. See, I mean, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Someone might say that and then carry on talking. But yeah, this has been a podcast, another podcast. This has been episode 8, guys. Can you believe it? I don't know how much more regular I'm going to make these podcasts. If any, maybe every other week. I don't know. But yeah, this is another one. I'd say that's about done. We've covered a lot today, from Logan Paul to Joe Rogan to offending people, to not offending people, to patch of football in my early career. 
and blog writing. Something that obviously I'm probably quite good at considering I tell stories all day on here. And that's the category this podcast falls under. I mean, if you heard it on audio, you wouldn't have seen all the visual stuff, obviously. If you've seen the video, great. Either way, I'm happy. If you've consumed this as audio or video or both, great for you and thank you. It's great for me too. Hope you've enjoyed it because, yeah, it's just me free flow talking about whatever. Literally, I used to write a script. I don't write a script anymore. What's the point? It's just things on my mind, literally. And that is it, guys. I mean, I've got to thank you all. Like, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do watch the vlogs and my new piece of music. What is it called? Summer Street Beats by DJ21. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, it's been two hours I've been on this podcast. Almost. No, not two hours. But yeah, get in there. <laughs> Thank you guys. I mean, remember some of the things I talked about. Let me know if you want me to go in, into more detail on certain aspects of my life. Do let me know. But just keep working towards your dreams, guys. That's all I can say. And don't listen to the haters. You're always going to get hate. People disliking what you do just because of jealousy and things like that. Maybe just for no reason. But don't spend your time thinking about it and worrying what other people think. You know, as long as you're not hurting people in a bad way or intentionally offending anyone, you can't be going that far wrong. I mean, keep within that and you should be fine. Not that I hold, I don't hold any answers, guys. But my horoscope kind of to- told me a lot about me and what I'm like as a person. And the type of people I get on with. And that really made sense. The star signs I get on with. Pisces, Taurus, other Virgos in some cases. (laughs) And it's all true. So yeah, horoscopes, that's been another weird thing. If you've seen the video I made about that. Um, I have to edit that actually. I haven't edited that yet at all. Which I probably will do tomorrow now. Saturday tomorrow for me. We've got an event, a patch of football fundraising event for the club, um, which should be fun. We're going to raise a bit of money. We've invited a few people. From, from our lot, it's like, from, from us, from my family, it's like us four, and then we've invited other people. So seven of us in total, or more, I think. So we're going to raise a bit of money. Someone, Someone's bringing like literally most of their family, some of my teammates, ex-teammates. Um, there's going to be over 100 people at Evergreen uh, Sports Club in Watford. Um, it's n- really near where our training is based, where we train normally. Um, yeah, so that should be fun. Then Sunday, we're back to training once again after this defeat. We're going to hit training twice as hard. I'll tell you what. Um, but the, yeah, these podcast sign offs taking me ages guys work towards your dreams do what you love don't let anyone tell you otherwise if they hate let them hate and do what you do just keep doing that there's nothing more I can say give your all (laughs) work hard it's a new year guys keep killing it keep going it's been a long month but just make the most of the good times it's going to be another long month but There'll be good moments too. So cherish them. Make as many of them as you can. Take it easy fam. And as always. I'm your host Louise21. Take it easy fam. Peace. How many times have I said take it easy? See you later guys. I'm out. <laughs>